of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kodash. All right. Um, of course, uh, you know, giving all praises to the Most High. His name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And of course, we come in the name of, of, of course, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. Which I just, uh, of course, said in the Hebrew, in the ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrews, and that's their, that's their actual names in the Paleo Hebrew. All right, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. Of course, I want to give uh, double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who rule well, and peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that's out here on the highways and hedges doing the work. All right, um, being instant in season and out of season. In these wintry times, all right, because we uh, have been suffering from a a lot of cold days, all right. You know, which your how about you, sanction, sanction, so like you for uh, my speech is a <laughs> bit um, <laughs> it sounds like uh, you know, it's not coming out right, but you know, uh, you know, these these this, this flesh is very weak, uh, you know, but um, you know, suffering from this cold weather and such, I mean, I'm in a <laughs> Uh, current situation and been suffering in a, you know, of course, uh, being chastised by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the current, st you know, the stead that I'm in, the place I'm actually staying, the place is, uh, it don't have insufficient, it has, it's insufficient heating, all right? You know, um, you know, until, of course, I get my own little spot and set up, I've been suffering, you know, since coming in this truth, uh, you know, which we do suffer. We're going to suffer, you know, coming in this truth, but, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's it's crazy. We suffering for, of course, righteousness' sake, and um, you know, basically, uh, being in the stead where I'm in, uh, you know, you practically sleeping on the floor and such. All right, um, you know, and you uh, you know, you fighting every day, day in, day out, you know, to uh, you know, make it through to that next day, you know, to get closer and closer, you know, to uh, you know, salvation. All right, when you how about Shimei Shai deliver his elect, you know, and. Uh, you know, Abba Ratzaza, Yahweh Ratzaza, Yahweh willing, I'm part of that number, which I do put my Amawad in my faith that I am, and that, you know, and that's, uh, you know, that's the type of confidence we, of the uh, hopeful elect have to have, especially at the times that's coming at, you know, coming, we coming into, all right, you know, we are, of course, in the year of prophecy, which uh, was coined by the other apostle Tahar, all right, uh, here at Great Millstone, all right, GMS, all right, you know, we all into the prophecies, all right, in which, uh, you know, you can quickly, uh, I could quickly start off with that real quick. Let me see if I can get it. That's that, Revelations 19 and 10. And then I'll go back to Daniel's, all right, and then start the lesson off. Well, really, this lesson is more so a review, uh, going into the movie, uh, Bushwick. And, um... You know, uh, I watched the movie Bushwick due to the suggestions by other Akim in the truth. And, uh, you know, I was blown away and amazed by it because, you know, I get very excited by, you know, the time of Jacob Trouble. I actually cannot wait for it. All right. I can't wait because I know Yahweh Bashim Yashai will be here. All right. Very soon. OK. And I can you can, you can feel it through the spirit. All right. Do the uh, uh Kodash. All right, that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is about to be here, but it's going to be more, more even closer when the time of Jacob Trouble hit. All right, when we see these Mark of the Beast, which the RFID microchip come, you know, to pass that prophecy that be implemented and such, you know, we we know we our salvation is near if we had the elect. All right, you know, so this is uh, Revelations 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. This is John the Revelator, right? And he said unto me. See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, that I have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Alright, so if you're not dealing with any prophecy, alright, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you. The Heavenly Father is not dealing with you. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with Christianity. That false Christianity that's been pushed out in the churches, okay? You know, that's, uh, you know, those 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 buildings built with hands and such. You know, where you go in, them harlot houses, you know? And, you know, in there you just have wickedness because it's 
completely contrary to what these this Bible speaks of. They don't even give you any knowledge of these these prophecies of the times of Jacob trouble. They just have the congregation being fed to uh you know being basically going into a deep ditch, right? Being uh being uh led as sheep to the slaughter, all right? Um let me go get this preset real quick. Um, this is Proverbs 23 and 27. For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Of course, dealing with, of course, uh, you know, these are the philosophies, right? You know, the, um, you know, uh, that strange woman, all right? You know, and, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we, of course, uh, you know, we have to stay away from all of these different philosophies, all right? You know, we have to stay in the things that of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And staying in the in this prophecies, these prophecies, all right? Occupied until Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai down, all right? So, of course, deliver the elect, all right? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going through the spirit. You know, I got, I got some precepts. I got actually a lot of precepts, but... You know, uh, I'm going to do this all through the spirit, you know, uh, the spirit got to speak, you know, and doing, you know, slaving in this, uh, this system, you know, doing, of course, being at a job, having to, of course, plow snow and, 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 and not receive, uh, adequate, uh, payment for it. All right. You know, that's, that's horrible, you know, and, and, and you know, us the church in Israel, Yashallah, we got to get out of here. All right, that's why we had needed, of course, Yahweh Shai. All right, but without further ado, uh, you know, speaking of spirit, I'm going to get into the, the, the actual review being, of course, uh, it's a quick one. I mean, it's just a suggestion to go in and watch this movie, some of the things it covers, and, you know, I'm just hitting certain precepts that line up with the movie and such, right? So this is, uh, uh, this is Daniel's 12 and 1, and it reads, And at that time, sorry, at that time, Shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and being an archangel, all right, on the right hand side, Michael, all right. Uh, uh, let me see if I can go into that real quick. Is that Malak Allah? Yep, yeah, Malak Allah, all right. <clears throat> So, uh, you know, that's an archangel, right? Or my, it's just like, it's my, it's my, my yak, my yak, Allah, yeah, that's right, all right, all right, <clears throat> that's an archangel, all right, <clears throat> okay, and he's coming for, of course, uh, he's going to be fighting, waging war for us, all right, <clears throat> But, uh, you know, just going back into uh, the precept, it says, um, Which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even at that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered. And that's going to be the elect, all right? The elect of Yasha Allah shall be uh, delivered, you know, and of course the two thirds and the rest of the heathen they're going to be destroyed. All right, when when you know like when this uh, you like this movie Bushwick, it's, it covers basically martial law state. All right, in the city of that be a uh, neighborhood, and of course uh, it, it's it's based in uh, New York, but in in in, this, in the, I believe the neighborhood is called Bushwick. All right, and um, it covers martial law being declared. All right. You know, and uh, what that, of course, comes with, all right? And that comes with, um, you know, that comes with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of death, all right? You know? Um, but the elect, they shall be, of course, preserved in this time when all hell break loose, all right? When martial law is declared, as you will see in the movie Bushwick, if you watch it, all right? So, um, you know, this is a quick precept to support. Of course, that the elect is going to go through this this hell, this hellish time, the time of Jacob's trouble, which has been prophesied in the Bible. And that's dealing with prophecy in which, uh, you know, this being a year of prophecy, 2018, we do 
pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh bring forth this prophecy. All right. This is Zechariah 13 and 9 and, and 8, Slaki, starting. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's, um, that's two parts. That's two parts of the nation of Israel. That's you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who descend back to Jacob, Jake, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Which are the true biblical Israelites. You are the true chosen people of the Most High. All right. Two parts of y'all going to be cut off because you refuse to hearken on to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You don't want to follow all statute commandments. You don't want to believe in this, this Bible. You don't want to return to your power. So you're going to be destroyed in the time of Jacob Trouble. Which is martial law, which they show in, of course, this movie Bushwick. All right, it says uh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, and that's the elect. That's the elect that's going to be delivered. All right, through all of these times. All right, they're going to be they're going to be well taken care of by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So they, of course, will be tried. All right, this is Zechariah thirteen and nine going on. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. All right, going through, of course, all of the hell. And ultimately, through, of course, the ICBMs, which is the ultimate judgment for, of course, America, which is Babylon the Great. All right. You know, um, that's the uh, nuclear fire. That's that, that fire and brimstone that's coming. All right. You know, that's that's that hell. All right. You know, because we already in hell right now being a low state. All right. Going on, it says, uh, and I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them. As silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. All right, so that's why we're going to hell right now, catching hell. Me, you know, me for say having to sleep on the fucking floor. All right, you know, on a cold ass floor. Being, uh, if you see in Babylon right here on the East Coast, we're suffering, uh, you know, uh, temperatures in the single digits. All right, du low double digits. All right, thirty, th you know, thirty and below, going down. All right, you know, that's hell. All right. You know, Edomite ain't gonna be dealing, ain't gonna want to deal with that. All right, you know, it's for the sake of of this Bible. All right, that's why the Lord ain't dealing with them. All right, but the elect, they have that spirit and be able to endure to your cow. All right, to have that endurance, which is to make hard, which we will have to be made hard, of course, to be able to go through the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, going on and it says, um, uh, and. Will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name. And it's Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. All right, you know Yahweh, well Yahweh Shai. That's who we call upon. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, and and His Son, and in, in ancient Paleo Hebrew, which we do have. All right, um, you know, and you know, if you you don't believe it, that's just maybe. Well, it's definitely Yahweh Bahashem Shai not dealing with you. All right. You still call out Jesus Christ and God and, you know, nah, the Lord and his son have, have names, all right? And they're in the Hebrew, in the Lashwan Kodash, all right? The Holy Tongue, okay? It says, um, yeah, and they shall call upon my name and I will hear them, all right? And he, you know, we crying out for him right now on them highways and hedges daily, all right? You know, of course, sign and crying for the abominations that, you know, are going on, all right? You know, those who, of course, who... You know, our predestined, they, have, of course, have that thawa, all right, that, that exemption, all right? It says, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh is my power, all right? That's it, all right? So we going through that hell, all right? And we will be brought through, you know, the, the this, this, this time, right? This time, as it says, right, back into Daniel's, right? There shall be a, what, a time of trouble such as never... Sh was since there was a nation even at the, to the same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered all right and that's the elect you know so these precepts the bible of course is broken down precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little all right you know so this is this is how you of course understand it all right and through thy pre precepts we get this understanding all right isaiah 28 and and 10 it says for precept must be upon precept and precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. All right? You know, and that's how, of course, you know, uh, you know, we get, uh, um, you know, the understanding of this, of, of the scripture, the prophecies and everything. All right? Understanding. Let me see. Let me see. Where is this at? 
me get it through thy precepts do I get understanding let me get another precept all right this is uh, Psalms 119 and 104 through thy precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way all right so this is how we get understanding of the scriptures all right in which these these scriptures and knowing that Yahweh Shem Shai is dealing with the elect this is how, of course, we have comfort, you know, because in this time, you know, in the time like as it's shown in Bushwick and stuff, you know, we're going to have to have the, the, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding to be the stability of our time. All right. Which I'll get that real quick. I think that's Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6. And it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation in the Saki says the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right, you know, so all of this knowledge and understanding, you better get it while you can get it. All right, because you know all of these 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 prophecies. All right, the fame of the word is coming. All right, where you ain't gonna see the men on the highways and hedges. All right, you know, so you better get all of this 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 uh this truth. All right, you know, to be stable in the time when martial law hits. All right, when Bushwick actually you know the movie. All right, which is a, going to be a reality. All right, they only, of course, depicted and shown, you know, a bit, you know, but, um, you know, that's going to be a reality. It's going to be worse than what you see. All right, they can't show you everything. You know how it's going to be. It's going to be insane. All right, as it said in the scriptures, uh, the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, shall be as a, as a as a a uh, what is it uh a uh was it wild um, um a man's Sparing none I'm gonna get that precept It's in this lesson So we'll get it Alright But um You know We We You know We gotta get up out of here Alright You know So um Let me uh Now uh You know Go into it So yeah The movie Bushwick So you know It starts off crazy You know Um You know You had a, a chick And uh A dude Right, it begins with the opening scene, with uh, you know they were just in a, a subway platform. Slacky of the spoilers, but you know it starts off subway platform. Everything's cool, lotty lotty lotty. Thinking that everything's all cool, you know they you know kissing he all kissing up on boo, thinking it's all sweet, you know. And then all of a sudden, you know, I believe something what was it something man popping off. And then, um, like, he went up, they went up out of the subway platform, and, you know, the dude ended up coming back, like, coming down the, the, the steps, being burnt up, all right, to a crisp. So, she, this woman, you know, which you'll see in the movie, um, she, uh, she, she, she became, she, she, she lost her man, all right? And that's going to be happening in, uh, you know, the time of, uh, you know, this time of Jacob Trouble. A lot of these women, they're going to lose their men. The men who they obviously think that are men, they're not. They're punks because the Lord is not dealing with them, all right? You know, uh, as it said in Isaiah, I believe that's 32. Um, let me get this real quick. Isaiah 32 and 2, it says, And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. All right, the wind, all right, it's all its destruction, all right, the destruction that's going to come, all right, I believe that is uh, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, let me see if I can get it, and ultimately it's going to be, you know, uh, we have that destruction that's coming, all right, this is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 1, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, that's here in America, all right, against this wicked ass system, all right, you know, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. Alright. Alright. So there shall be a destroying wind. Ultimately it's some ICBMs. The thermonuclear missiles. Alright. You know. But um, you know. It's going to be of course uh, a, a crazy ass. Uh, you know. A storm of destruction beforehand. And that's Jacob's trouble. Alright. Going back to Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. In a covert from the tempest, all right? You know, covert, of course, is something, of course, that uh, uh, being, of course, that keeps you, of course, safe, all right? If you're covert, all right, you're, you know, you safe, you know, you, you, you're going you gonna to be out, not out in the open, all right? You know, I could quickly 
go into this word and define it really quick. You know, just to be 100% so you can get more understanding going into the words. All right. It says, not openly acknowledge or display covert operations. All right. So, you know, when you're not, you're not, you're not we're going to have that shield. All right. Because when you go into it without, you know, without having a shield, you know, you, you know, you're going to be asked out. All right. We have the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which is a, is a, is a fortress. It's a covert. All right. You know, it's a, it's a buckler. All right. Which I'll, you know, I'll get that precept too. Um, Abu Ratzazah, you know, but, uh, let me, let me finish off this precept. I'm just fired up in the spirit, you know, uh, you know, you know, be, being all, you know, suppressed throughout the week. You know, you still get your videos in, you know, but, you know, the, the, the devil, you know, so-called white man and, you know, the, uh, you know, all these demonic forces, you know, uh, tries, of course, to suppress this truth. You know, when we, you know, get time to do this work, you know, we just got to go and do it, you know, and try to make time to do it. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, um, and a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. That's, of course, a um, elect man. All right. You know, that's the one of the men that the Lord is dealing with, all right? That's an Israelite, Hebrew Israelite man that's in this truth, okay? He is, of course, the Yahweh Shem Yahushai going to be dealing with. He's a servant of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And Yahweh well, Yahweh Shai will deal with him, and he will, of course, you know, um, you know, keep him well, you know, through this destruction, all right? Ultimately, deliver him through it via a chariot, which is the so-called UFOs, all right? But anyway, you know, just to try to keep things on to this Bushwick, you know, um, movie. I'm gonna try to limit things. All right. So it says a covert from the tempest. A tempest is a storm, right? As rivers of water in a dry land. A uh, saga says in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Because it's gonna be a very weary land out here. It's gonna be very, uh, you know, it's gonna be all hell broke loose. It's gonna be destro destroyed. All right. You know, this place is gonna be, uh, you know, you're gonna have, uh, you know, rape. You're going to have all type of men out here going crazy. You're going to have uh, FEMA troops. You know, all of that. You know, it's going to be crazy. NATO troops. All right. It's going to be insane. It's all in the scriptures, you know. So this movie Bushwick, it shows it, you know. It shows how uh, the woman almost even uh, was about to get raped. It even show how these women, um, you know, they're going to basically start to, uh, you know, they're going to get, they're going to they gonna want comfort, you know, for uh, and safety. All right. Because, uh, let me see, let me try to get, uh, this real quick, Sirach, uh, Sirach, uh, 36 and 25, all right, let me try to get it real quick, and then I'll get into some more precepts, this, 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 you know, when it comes to this martial law and stuff, and this Jacob trouble and such, I, I mean, I love it, that's like one of my favorite parts of the Bible, the scriptures and such, all right, other than being delivered ultimately, but, you know, uh, you know, it's one thing that I'm very hype on, you know, these prophecies, all right? Um, let me see, uh, Sirach 36, right? So, Book of Ecclesiasticus 36, right? Try to get it real quick. And it's verse 25. And it reads, um, it says, where no hedges, there the, pro the pro possession is spoiled. And he that hath no wife will wander up and down in mourning. All right, the point being right there, if you don't have a hedge, meaning, of course, like you say, like a fence, right? You know, a fence, a protection, right? That, that's what a hedge, you know, does, all right? Right, a fence or boundary formed by closely grown bushes or shrubs. All right, so you know a hedge being, of course, a protection. Right, a fence, a boundary. You know, and that that thawa, you know, is what we have being, of course, uh, you know, if we are of that elect number, you know, the Lord's dealing with us, you know, and keeping us, uh, you know, basically exempt from judgment. All right, preserving us. All right, because the time that's coming. You know, if you, these women, you know, uh, they don't have no protection, they're going to be destroyed, all right, in which you, uh, you, you know, you clearly will see in the movie Bushwick. There's a lot of death and destruction in it, okay? Um, but uh, going on to, uh, 
you know, another precept. Um, you know, and you see in that movie, uh, that woman, uh, the, the, the which they have her basically kind of as the main character, which is ridiculous. You ain't gonna have no woman really leading, acting like she badass and all of that. You gonna have women that's gonna be following the men of the Lord, which she, which she, uh, well, you know, the dude, you know, he, um, he was an ex, uh, military, military, uh, you know, man or something like that. But, uh, you know, um, he's a, he's an ex soldier. So he, you know, he has skills and such, you know, you know, but, um, you know, that's, that's just what it is, you know? And, uh, you know, that's who the women going to go and, and cleave and, and, and look after. They're going to be looking for, you know, the, the, these men. All right. Because what's going to happen as, as it shows their men is going to be put to death. All right. Let me see Isaiah three real quick. Um, and they're, these women gonna be put in their in their place, all right. Uh, in a time, all right. It says uh, Isaiah uh, three and twenty five. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. All right. You know, so it's all you know. You gonna have uh, men. And, and you know the militant people that they they they, 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 they like na top nail troops and top soldiers. You know Esau, who's the sword. They they're gonna be thinking that they're uh, the Lord. Uh, well, they they they, they protect it. You know because they 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 relying on carnality. You no, know, not in the Lord. And you know they're gonna get destroyed. You know, and that's what a lot of these men. You know these men they, they gonna you see in Bushwick. You know these men got arms and all of that. You know. They got all type of uh, military military uh, weapons, you know, and that's not gonna save you. All right, you know, trusting your Hobashim Yahshua is what's gonna save us. All right, um, it says, "In her gate shall lament and mourn." So you'll see women, of course, and and you see in the opening scene the woman, you know, she was uh, you know, she was all fucked up. You know, she just seen a man, you know, die in front of her, and it should have been worse. All right, but. You know they, you know they try to show women as if they're strong, but they're the weaker vessel anyway. All right, and her gate shall lament because when you see in, when she goes out there, she see all hell break loose. She's like she she screams out, thinking of course, you know for help, mean to the so called white man. But the so called white man, they, they they're they're against everybody, which you gonna end up seeing. You know, and they got of course uh, division amongst themselves. All right, it says, and she being desolate shall sit. Upon the ground, all right, you know, and that's when, of course, you know, uh, you know, she's going to, uh, let me see, uh, she's gonna be, uh, she, this is gonna come in this this preset. This is, uh, this is Micah seven. And where is it at? Um, and 10, it says, and then she that is mine enemy shall see it. You know, and our enemies are, are of our nation. All right. The, the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, right. Our women, which is also you confusion the face. You know, you, you use that look like, of course, the heathen, but actually are, have the spirit of Israelite. You actually go back to the 12 tribes. Of Israel on your father's side, all right, you know, you know. So say like, you know, my my so-called woman in the world, she's going to well, well, I had that I gave a deal of divorce. She's going to be destroyed because, as as I had mentioned in the scriptures, it said where no hedges, there the possession is spoiled, and these women don't get raped and ravished and destroyed, all right, in that time, all right. So she, you know, she may have that judgment, Yahabashim Yashai, where she get you know raped and destroyed by, you know, a zillion, uh, freaking, you know, men, you know, being, uh, they're gonna have all of these, uh, different factions, and, uh, you, of course, you got, uh, you know, the government militias and such, too, all right, but anyway, it says, she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power, thy, thy power, all right, you know, so you can hear them sirens in the background. I don't know if you can hear them, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't know if I have them in post-reduction, but, 
Yeah, like, you know, they, they like, oh, where's this, where's your hawa? Where's this power that you're talking about? You know, my, my so-called woman in the world that I had, you know, she, um, she, 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 she couldn't, she was impatient. All right. You know, I'm like, yo, we at the end, you know, but they, you know, you, 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 you can say like, oh man, it could be very soon. And then, you know, when they don't see it, since they're so carnal, they don't have no faith. All right. Um, you know, they, uh, you know, they just, uh. You know they hold that against you, all right. You know, and and the Lord, and that that, that day, He's gonna you gonna remember you know, that shame gonna 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 hit you, all right. As the scriptures have said, all right, it's gonna be that shame that's gonna cover you, and that uh, that's gonna be that that um that that Isaiah four and one comes in, all right, in the hand, and that's gonna be a glorious time, all right. Which I'll get in this, you know, we hitting this Bushwick movie review, but I'm gonna hit everything, you know, in the spirit. You know, the spirit is going to go where it's going to go. I mean, I'm going to flow with this spirit. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. All right. You know, so where, uh, yeah, it says, so she says, where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she be trodden down as mire of the streets. All right. You know, so she going, she going, she going to get fucking ran through. Like nothing, like dirt. All right, you know, mire, tayat. I believe that's the uh, Hebrew word right there. Tayat, and it means mud, right? That's the Hebrew word for like mud, dirt, right? A mud, clay, miry. All right, so they gonna get they gonna get ran right through, man. You know, and, and that's what it is. You know, and as I had quoted, you know, there's going to be a certain women, uh, 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 you know, women that's going to get, of course, delivered from this, uh, you know, destruction. Let me see. Try to get Isaiah 4 real quick. Um, you know, when they, when they, they're going to see other women get, uh, they're going to be being, uh, you know, getting raped and destroyed. And then they're going to see that, that, that man that's like a, like a hiding place. All right. And they're going to, they're going to cleave one to him. All right. So this is Isaiah four and one, and, and you know in the movie Bushwick, you seen that that lady, she she seen the dude, even though you know they ain't put no spiritual side that the dude had any uh, faith, you know, uh, you know like as if in the book of Eli, that movie was great, you know, um, but but you know it is it it is what it is. Both movies are amazing, but Bushwick, you know, I like that martial law side that they showed, all right, particularly, all right. But anyway, going on it says. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. That's going to be a, a Hebrew Israelite man of the elect. Saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Because, we, you know, as you've seen in uh, the movie uh, Bushwick, the dude that... It's, yeah, we dealing with hell. Seen the freaking... We got rats scurrying across the ground and shit. It's this bullshit, you know. But, you know, we're going to be in the kingdom. You know, Salaki, uh, you know, just seen a fucking mouse run across the ground. This this bullshit. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be out of this situation. Abaratza soon, which I know. I put my mom on it. Anyway, going on, um, yeah, like, um, yeah, you see in the movie Bushwick, um, uh, the chick, you know, she, 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 you know, they, she was begging, cleaving on to that, that man, you know, that, that, that character. Played by that uh that Dave Batista guy, right? Actor. Uh, you know, she was cleaving onto the dude, you know, the whole time. Alright. Until, you know, what later of course happened, you know, but and I ain't gonna give away that much spoilers, but it says, um We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name and take to take away our reproach. Alright? You know, and that's going to be during the act of sex, all right? You know, that's how, of course, they're going to be called by a name. A woman takes a man's name via the act of sex, all right? And that's, of course, how the, uh, the, the you know, we're going to have that one-third, because you know, 144,000 prophets, so uh, 12,000 from uh, all each tribe, there are only men, right? Uh, and, um, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the other the rest of the elect, the, um, the one-third, uh, remnant of men, men, women, and children. The women, you know, that's how they're gonna be delivered. They're gonna be saved. That do, of course, childbearing, as is said in the scriptures. All right. Um, 
which I, I'll get that quick, you know, um, you know, this is, I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm going into so much, but, you know, Bushwick covers stuff, you know, but, uh, so yeah, approve, reproach, the word reproach, so they don't want their reproach taken away, disapprove or disappointment, all right, you know, and that's going to be that shame, you know, because they're, they're so wicked, you know, they're going to know that, you know, they're going to know they, 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 they fucked up because they're going to have their power all taken away. All right, they're going to be low. Their power, which is a so-called white man, Esau Edom, all right, he's going to be taken out of, being, take, being taken out of his power, and they're going down with it. And then they're going to, of course, have to be under their power, which was set up in the order of uh, Israelite men, all right, which you, of course, read that in Corinthians, you know, the head of a, you know, the woman is a man, you know, the head of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach is, of course, uh, Yahweh, all right. You know, Yahweh is the head, Yahweh Shai is under Yahweh. And then you have, of course, the uh, Hebrew is like man, which we serve Yahweh Shai. And then, of course, we had the woman who serves the man. Yeah, and, and, you know, that's how it's going to be. All right. So anyway, and that's how the order is. That's how it is. All right. That's how it's going to be when it's set up completely in all righteousness in our kingdom. All right. But Jacob trouble has to happen, you know, and that's what we're going to see all of these. We're going to see all these prophecies, you know. So. uh Um. Yeah, um, so let's, uh, I mean, let me, uh, let me see, childbearing, let's see, let me see, let me get the preset real quick, as I said, women, well, they're gonna be saved through, uh, the childbearing, let me see, also I said 12,000. Yeah, it's Revelations, uh, the seventh chapter, right? Right. So this is this is the hundred and forty-four thousand, and they from the the twelve tribe of Israel, right? And they're they're gonna be Negro, Latino, Native American descent. All right, you know that's the Holy Seed, right? And um, you know they gonna have that seal, right? This is uh. Revelations, uh, that the Wah, as I have mentioned, that exemption, all right? Revelation 7 and 3. Uh, uh, I could, I could start, uh, yeah, I could start at 1. I'll start at the first verse. It says, uh, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds on the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor in any tree. All right, that wind being that destroying wind. All right, the destruction that's coming. All right, ICBMs. Right, so the Lord He has He have you know He have angels that set up, of course, to of course hold back the destruction. All right, um, it says, uh, and I saw another angel ascending up for a second, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. All right, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth, the earth and the sea, saying, "Hurt not the earth, neither the, the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads." All right, and that's that's the law. All right, that's what the elect. That's why we out in there highways and hedges, bidding, you know, calling the elect of the nation of Israel to the marriage. All right, to be joined to Yahweh Shai. All right, because that's what we're coming to, you know, ultimately when Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ, you know, he comes back, you know, all right, you know, to deliver us from this, the, the, the ICBMs, the destruction that's coming, to deliver us from the time of Jacob's trouble, which will be, you know, we'll be in the midst of, all right, when Jacob, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, you know, uh, you know, they, 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 they going to be going through this, that's going to be their trouble, all right, you know, but the rest of the nations, they're going to be under it too, they're going to feel this hell, all right. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and, and there were sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right? You know, it's talking about, of course, the men, the bunyam. All right? You know, this is in the Greek, of course. Uh, 
you know. But uh, you have it. Um, it's gonna be, of course, the, the, the they all men. All right, the flock of my pasture is men. All right, and they got, of course, from each tribe, twelve thousand from each tribe. All right, and they they that's who they going they gonna they of course gonna have the victory when you go into it. You know, they gonna be preserved. All right, you know, during this time, you know, when all hell break loose and such. All right, you know, and, and up until Yahweh Shai comes back. You know, as the Bushwick showed, you know, all hell breaking loose. All right. All crazy. Okay. It was a lot of d death and destruction. All right. You know, I've seen all these different little scenes and such. You know. Um, but, uh, yeah. You know, they're going to have that, that mark of exemption. You know, and they're not going to take that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. You know, because uh, that's going to be implemented, you know, uh. You know, of course, you know, soon, okay? Uh, let's see, what is it, Ezekiel? Let me see, I think it's Ezekiel side cry for the abominations. A uh, nine, so I can, yeah. Because, I, you know, I did quote this, but, I, I you know, I want to make sure I bring up the precept. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh said unto him, being, of course, Ezekiel, all right, and that's what we are. You know, we 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 like modern day Ezekiel's. You know, yeah, Ezekiel. You know, uh, is uh, you know, amongst us today. The prophets are here today in the reincarnation. All right, and uh, Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. All right, you know, of course, the nation of Israel. All right, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Obviously, you know, the Bible is translated out of Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. All right, so you got to go back. We use this Blue Letter Bible app to go into it. And as I said, that mark is the Y right there in the Hebrew, right? And that's that mark of exemption, all right? And they'll be exempt from, you know, the judgments and such, all right? So that's it right there. The Y. So it's a mark, all right, that exemption. You know, they're going to have the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? The truth, all right? Which uh you know that's a strong type that's a uh uh a strong tower. Let me see a buckler. Let me see that's in the psalm. You know, which is a shield. Um is Psalms uh yeah, this is uh this is Psalms one eighteen and two, I saw it. Psalms eighteen and two, and it says, Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer." All right, he gonna sing Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai mean he the deliverer. Yahweh Shai. All right, Yah mean he. Yahweh Shai mean deliverer or savior. All right, it says in my deliverer, my my power. My strength in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation. Okay. In my high tower. All right. And I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. All right. It says. 18, we going through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he guides us through this, this, these, these precepts, you know, these scriptures, you know, it's, it's a glorious thing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai brings forth this, he gives up forth that inspiration, you know, you may not even have uh, scriptures down, written down and stuff, the Lord, you might have scriptures down, the Lord will guide you through the spirit to what he wants to come out, because he, we are just the mouthpiece of him, okay? It says, the sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrow of hell compassed me about, and the, snare, and the snares of death prevented me. All right? In my distress, I call upon the Lord, Yahweh. I believe this is King David speaking, right? Dawadah, all right? In which we are the house of David, all right? The elect, all right? We of the hopeful elect, you know? And cried upon my power. All right. So when all hell break loose, we're going to be calling on Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And he heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him even into his ears. All right. You know. And um, 
No. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh he he delivers us out of, of course our problems. All right. You know, and our distresses. Okay. Now, you know, just we gonna go into you know just to back up a lot of things. You know, we going in the spirit. You know, this is you know I can this is a Bushwick open forum. You know, at this point. You know, cause you know, we, we, I'm hitting so much, but you know, that's that's just what it is, you know. So uh, going into it now, uh, yeah. This is uh, Proverbs, which I was gonna start the lesson with this pre precept, but you know, the Lord spent it what it was, and this this the, I guess the precept on the site for the day on King James Bible Online .org. It says, "The fear of man bringeth a snare, which is a trap." Right? And, you know, we ain't supposed to. We only supposed to fear you. How about Shem Shot? We ain't supposed to fear man, all right, what he can do to us, all right? We're supposed to fear the Lord who can, of course, uh, destroy both the body and soul, all right? And that's a that's another precept, you know, Abu Ratazah can get if you want to physically see it or hear it with your eye, you know, I'm roughly paraphrasing. It says, but anyway, going on, it says, but whoso put his trust in Yahweh shall be safe, okay? All right, the fear of man bring a snare, a snare, a trap, all right? Because you know, a lot of people, you know, fear is going to make men be carnal, all right? We we, we put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai, and we going to be safe, okay? And that, that that that's it, you know? So when, when all the hell break loose and things like Bushwick uh, come in hand, we going to be all well, all right? You know, we going to eat, we going to be all good, all right? Let me see. Uh, the Wisdom of Solomon, two. Damn, I put in the wrong thing. Uh, there it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Fear not. Let's see. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon and the Apocrypha, uh, 1611, of course, the Bible, uh, uh has, of course, the Apocrypha, which the so-called white man took out, all right, it has all these prophecies, these scriptures, in which we, of the elect, you know, we use, of course, as our, you know, our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, and it's our stability, you know, we know, and of course, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and the words are true. All right, it says, um, Wisdom of Solomon, it's a book in the Prophet, right? 2 and 17, or yeah, um, 2 and 17. Um, it says here, um, let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Verse 18. For if the just man be the son of God, which we are, the prince of the power, our name Israel, Yasha Allah, being he, uh, is it, uh, uh, Yah, meaning he, uh, prince, Shar, right? Allah, power, all right? He, prince of the power, he, prince of God, all right? And we are the sons of the, of the, of the power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right? So reading back from the top, for if he, the just man, be the son of, 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 of God, of power, right? He will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. All right. So when the, the, the damn so-called white man comes on, you know, like on, like with these stormtroopers at a time of, of course, all hell break loose martial law, we will be delivered. OK. Out of it. OK. You know, we going to be well. All right. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be your pa, okay, when that day comes, and I can't wait when all hell break loose. When 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 there's of course um, you know uh, the Jeremiah third, you know Jeremiah thirty right and seven. Let's see, let me get that real quick. You know, and that's, that's the time, as Bushwick was showing you, that's the time of Jacob Trouble, man. All right? <laughs> uh, 
All right. Um, this is Jeremiah thirty and seven. Alas, for that for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Yaquab's trouble. Our Jacob, right, being in the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, but he shall be saved out of it. That's you, the of the elect. You, of course, will be saved out of it. Okay. The one third, the one hundred and forty-four thousand, will be delivered out of the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Simple as that. All right. That's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. All right. When them seven women cleave upon one man. All right. When these women are brought low and they got they 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 in a low low estate. All right. Cause we walking around in our low estate. When, when we get spiritual power, right, that's going to be amazing, all right? But anyway, they go on. We're going to go to Wisdom, we gonna go to, uh, wisdom, we, we, yeah, wisdom of Solomon, the three, third chapter. And we're going to start at the top. And we, you know, Abba Ratzis, I believe, um, well, you know, that may be the end of the lesson, you know. But this movie, Bushwick, it's, it's banging. You just got to watch it for yourself, all right? But this this is exhortation. You know, this is this is Amawan. This is faith. All right. You know, this is faith for the elect. All right. Yo, know, eat this word. Eat this whole robe, man. Eat this truth. Get this truth, man. This 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 is your stability right here. Trusting on your how about Shimmy Shai, man. Having faith in him. All right. In his words that are true. Okay. That are tried through the furnace. All right. You know, purify seven times. All right. Um, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, Yahweh. And there shall no torment touch them. All right? So the souls of the righteous, that's of the elect. They're going to be in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, he, and no torment shall touch them. All right? Because our spirit will be, of course, always... Loyal to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, no matter what we shall endure. Okay? It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, right? Which a lot of a lot of us gonna be dying, of course, in this truth. Alright, they shall be, of course, beheaded for, of course, um you know, our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, you know. And we gonna we gonna stand stiffly for this this testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. Okay? Um, this is Revelations 20 and 4 And it reads And I saw thrones And they that sat upon them And the judgment was given unto them And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded For the witness of Yahweh shot And for the word of the Most High Yahweh In which had not worshipped the beast Alright This whole system NATO and the EU Alright That beast system all right, right. It says uh, going on anyway. Going on, it says the beast, beast NATO EU. Neither his image. All right, you know that Roman system. All right, all of that. His, uh, you know, going on. Um, you know his whole system. He got, of course, a lot of things part of his system. Going on, it says uh, neither had received his mark, which is the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, which is prophesied in Revelation the thirteenth chapter. All right, and it says. Um, Upon their foreheads or in their hands, all right, which the RFID microchip they will be putting, of course, in their, it'll put it in your body, but it's, you know, primarily in your hand, right? Uh, between your index finger and your thumb, all right? And, of course, um, you know, your forehead, they got that chip, chip implants and such, all right? You know, trying to merge, of course, uh, man with, of course, uh, you know, basically technology, AI and stuff, right? Transhumanism. All right, anyway, going on, it says, has and had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach. That's Yahweh Shai, the Messiah. All right, the anointed one. All right, that's who, of course, we uh, gonna reign with. All right, forever. Right. Anyway, it goes on. It says with Hamashiach a thousand years. All right. You know. So, uh, yeah. You know. It's, you know. This is what we looking for. We looking forward to that. All right, so anyway, going back to, uh, let me see, that, uh, where was I at? Wisdom of Solomon, uh, 
the third chapter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The point was going, uh, of course, uh, the, those that been be, be uh, beheaded for the testimony of was shot, and those actually, when you go into it, they're gonna, of course, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna be, uh. They're gonna be uh beamed up. They're gonna they're gonna rise. We're gonna meet Yahweh Shai. They're gonna you're gonna meet Yahweh Shai in the chariots first, alright? You know, those that died, you know. Be headed for the witness of Yahweh Shai, alright? Now uh back to Wisdom of Solomon the third chapter. It says uh Yeah, uh, I'm gonna just read back from two, verse two. Uh, are really from the top, you know. That's that's how the spirit went, you know. That's how my spirit, you know. Yahweh Shemir Shah put in me. I'm just come bring it out as he said. All right, Wisdom, Wisdom Solomon three and one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, you know, those that are that are not of the elect, they do not believe in this truth, and they cannot see the things that are spiritual, you know. As is written, uh, what it said, the carnal man cannot receive, uh, uh, or the natural man cannot receive the things that are spiritual, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Let me see if I can get that real quick. I think it's in Corinthians. Yeah, it's set, uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, of, of the Most High, right? For they are foolishness unto him. So all of this is foolishness. All of this examining the movie Bushwick in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. This is all foolishness. They're like, you probably look at me like I'm crazy. Like, look at, of course, the, the men of the Lord like they're crazy. Right? Neither can he know them because they are d spiritually discerned. discerned Alright? You know, they don't have the ability in the spirit to separate things. Alright? They don't have... They they're reprobate. They don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shemesh in them. They're dark. Okay. It goes on. Um. Um. Two verse two. Wisdom Solomon three two. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. All right. So if you know when we die, they're gonna think, oh, if we had to die, and and it's true, they're gonna think it's uh you know it's it's uh it's like oh look you know. That's they they suffering right, knowing that of course not knowing that once you go to spirit world, you know you you ain't got no uh no pain or pe or anything everything's in order, all right. And their destruction, verse three, and their destruction from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace in which it just said, all right. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality, all right. In having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. All right, so going through the hell, as I mentioned, my my own personal hell, hell. All right, being a lower state, and um, you know the rest of the elect, you know the whole full elect, those that are in this truth that they're going to. All right, going through having to go through Jacob's trouble, going through the time of martial law, going through having, of course, to 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 uh. You know, uh, to reject the the uh, RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, at that in that hour of temptation. All right. It says, uh, and, and you know, you know, that's just what it is. You know, but we have the spirit. You know, Yahweh Shai to, of course, uh, get through it. All right. And it says, uh, you know, in in Bushwick, you know, it shows a lot of that. So, you know, we gonna get through. All right. It says, "In having a little, being li been li a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai proved them." All right. So of course we have to be proven. All right. You know, to of course be worthy. Right. So it goes on. It says, "And found them worthy." All right. For himself, as gold in the furnace, had he tried them. All right. He tried us out, going through all this hell. All right, and receive them as a burnt offering. All right, you know, because we we present our bodies as living sacrifices. All right, and in their time, it's like it says, in in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst stubble. All right, I believe that's going into a spiritual spiritual power. All right, and they shall judge the nations. And have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. 
And they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. Which the saints are the Israelites. All right. Only Israel. Only Yasha Allah are Israelites. Only Jacob. Okay. Is that Psalms 50? Let me see, damn, let me see, try to get it. Psalms 50 and 5. It says, Gather my saints unto me, those that have made a covenant with me, which a covenant is agreement, by sacrifice. All right? Now, that's only the nation of Israel. All right? You know, we the only one that have made agreement with the Most High. All right? Which, you know, we, you know that, uh, uh, what's that? Psalms one was it one forty seven or one forty eight and nineteen? Let me see if I can remember it. Yeah, this is Psalms one forty seven and nineteen. He showed his word unto Jacob, Yaquab, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the elect, right? Or well, the whole nation of Israel have, have been, of course, showed it, the the the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, just two thirds, of course, rejected. It says his statutes and judgments unto Yasha Allah Israel, he has not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. All right, you know, and that's it. You know that the Lord's only dealing with His people, and His people will be delivered through the time of Jacob trouble. All right, you know, and that's it. Okay, they that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth. All right, and such. As be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. Alright, so this is all about the elect. And this lesson proves that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is only dealing with his elect of the nation of Israel. Alright, and they will be preserved during the time of Jacob trouble. Alright, that Bushwick movie and all of that. Alright. They showed a man, he, 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 the Lord, uh, well, they just showed a man, he getting through it. But he, at the end, ultimately, he... Um, well, I ain't gonna get a spoiler, but, you know, um, you'll see what happens to him. But that ain't gonna happen to to, uh, to the elect man. He gonna, of course, make it, alright? And if he is, of course, uh, you know, man, uh, uh, put to death, you know, uh, he, he, you know, he, 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 he gonna, he gonna keep his integrity, alright? As it's written, uh, what is it? Strive unto the truth unto death, alright? You know, we ain't gonna give up anything for this truth, alright? As it says here, and I'm going to finish. This is the lesson ended. Wisdom Solomon 3 and 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination. So all the things that you, you, you all the wicked things that you think, you, all the, all those wicked nightmares, them things is going to happen to you. All right? How about Shem Yashah going to bring your worst nightmare? All right? Which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. All right? You, you damn two thirds. All right? For whoso despises wisdom and nurture he is miserable and their hope is vain their labors unfruitful and their works unprofitable all right their wives are foolish their children are wicked their offspring are cursed all right all you heathen you two-thirds all right this is this is curse cursing on to you all right wherefore blessed is the barren that are undefiled which hath not known the sinful bed, all right, shall she have fruit in the visitation of souls, all right, and that goes, uh, you know, that, that, I think that, 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 you can link that precept with, uh, what is it, uh, that precept where it says, um, uh, see, that we basically virgins, I forget the precept. Off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember him in the in the, my mind, or right, my lab, but uh, our, our labia, all right, but um, yeah, you know, uh, let me see, what what did it go say, virgins, um, undefiled, I think that's how I go, you know, some of these precepts, you know, that you know, let me see. 
some of the, a lot of the, the, the scriptures they just you know they just you know in my you I, I just in my mind you know so how the Lord how about Shemeshah has set it up to it you know as I you know very young in the truth being that approaching my first year in the truth it just be you know I, I kind of just gotta go with you know what's uh you know what's there all right uh, and then look it up or whatever but uh damn it's a precept though uh you know I can't remember it off ahead of but it's, it's uh, you know that we of course gonna be as of course uh you know uh virgins right before the father all right meaning that we you know we ain't we ain't gonna um you know bow down to all of this wickedness all right you know that's in this world you know we we ultimately have the spirit of Yahweh Yasha supping with us all right, we're going to be delivered, and that's how the Lord has his exemption, because we are ultimately his first fruits, and we are his elect. All right, so with that, you know, as you know, I went, it's just a Bushwick open forum. That's what I'll probably t uh, title this, you know, something like that, Um, you know, and, uh, you know, hopefully you've been edified. You received a lot of, of course, uh, spiritual food, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, uh, of these scriptures, Um, and, you know, you, you got to get prepared, you know. Measure the time diligently, you know, you know, knowing what the time we in, it's not no time to be playing games, all right, it's the time to wake up to this truth, all right, because, you know, the ungodly shall be uh, punished according to their own imagination, all right, two-thirds gonna get punished in the time of Jacob trouble, all right, heathens gonna get destroyed, just, they, they just heathen, all right, and there's no salvation for them, all right, so-called white man will be destroyed and bring out his, lost, uh, lose all his power, all right, and that's what, you know, Bushwick shows, all right, all hell breaking loose, all right, so anyway, I'm going to say, call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Racha Kodash. All right, all giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh. All right, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, all right, of course, in the uh, name of uh, the Holy Spirit. All right, Racha Kodash. All right, so um, stay up, man. Stay up and stay occupied in this prophecy. All right, Shalom.